Hello, this is Laurel Krynock. I'm a graduate student in the Master of Geospatial Information Science and Technology program at NC State. And I'm working with Clean Jordan Lake um, this semester for my capstone project. And as part of that project, I've developed a collector application, which is a phone application that allows um, CJL administrators to enter new cleanup event data in the field. So in this video, I wanna demo how to use that application. So to, ben to begin, when you open Collector on your phone, the first thing you should do is click on this Profile button in the upper left corner. Make sure that snapping is turned off. And the reason um, I say this is because if snapping is turned on, as you're entering the cleanup events in the field, um, <clears throat> it will automatically want to snap to existing lines. So once you've done that, you'll scroll down or look for the Clean Jordan Lake folder and open the CJL Trash Cleanup Event Collector application shown here. And when the map opens up, what you'll see are the cleanup sites, which are the black points, and the existing cleanup event paths, which are the green lines. Um, you can toggle these on and off by clicking on the Layers button here and adjusting with these buttons. Um, if you click on these three dots here in the upper right corner, you can turn on a different kind of base map if you'd like. Um, and if you happen to lose um, the area that you're zoomed to, you can click on bookmarks and select default map extent to be um, taken back to this map view. So we're just gonna zoom in here and enter a test demo uh, cleanup path here. So the first thing you wanna do is zoom to the site um, that you're entering a cleanup path for and select or tap on the black dot. It may bring up two layers, so you wanna make sure that you select the cleanup site um, point, which here is NHC W8. As you can see, it was highlighted on the map there. And then you wanna click on this button in the bottom left corner, which looks a little bit like a hyperlink. And we're gonna add a new cleanup path for this site. So we're gonna click on add. Now, when I click on add, it's gonna automatically zoom to my GPS location at my house. So I'm having to zoom out and um, move back to um, the location of the site. Of course, if you're in the field, it's gonna automatically um, zoom to where you are standing. So once you want to start adding a path, you're simply gonna select add point and then walk along the path and continue to add points, capturing as much detail as you want for the um, extent of the area that was cleaned in that event at that site. And then once you've finished adding um, the cleanup path, you can just swipe up on the screen here and begin entering the data for that cleanup event. So you can set the date automatically to today's date. The site cleaned should be automatically populated to the site that you selected. So we selected NHC W8. And then if you wanna go ahead and enter the um, event data, you can do that, including bags, trash, pounds of trash, tires, volunteers, volunteer hours, any notes that you have for the event, and the organization. If you'd rather wait until you get home and enter this data on the desktop, there's another um, web application you can use there to enter this data. What's required in the field to be entered is the date and the site cleaned. And then once you're done entering the data, you should click on submit in the upper right corner to save that cleanup event path and data. And then that will automatically be added to the database and the layers in all of the CJL web applications that I've developed. So you can see the line there that we added and that's it.